Hi everyone, this is Fiona from Isa Supporting. Today I'm gonna talk about the RAID array and how to recover from a RAID. Before we introduce the recovery approaches, it is necessary to understand how RAID array works. It stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks, a technology that prevents data loss by increasing the performance and the reliability of data storage. Some of the most commonly used are read level 0, read level 1, read level 5, and read level 1, 0. Read 0 use striving to write data across multiple drives simultaneously. This means that when you write a 5GB file across 5 drives, 1GB of data is written to each drive. By using at least two disks at the same time, this offers super rare read and write performance. However, it is not fault tolerant if one drive fails, all data in the read zero array are lost. Read one use mirroring to write data to multiple drives. This means that when you write a file, the file is actually written to multiple disks. If one of the disks fails, all data is still safe on others. The trade-off with read one is a cost. With read one, you must purchase double the amount of storage space that your data requires. Read five is the most popular secure read level. This type features the striping of read zero as well as error correction, resulting in a combination of excellent performance and fault tolerance. In the event of the disk failure, you simply replace the failed disk and keep going. It is possible to combine the advantages of read one and read zero in one single system. Read level 1.0 provides security by mirroring all data on secondary drives while using striping across each set of drives to speed up data transfers. However, read drive is not an adequate backup. You may still suffer from data loss from it. It is simple if the data loss is caused by deletion, formatting, or repartitioning. The read is still recognized as a single disk by Windows. Just use the data recovery software to scan the RAID disk and recover the lost file, the same way as recovering from a normal HDD. ESA's data recovery is one of the most commonly used programs to help you retrieve the files in this situation. As long as the RAID is still recognized on your computer, you can simply select it in this program to initiate the scan. However, what if the RAID error is broken? For read 1, all disks have the same data, so you can just pick one of the disks to recover the files. But the case is not the same when it comes to the other read disks while using scraping. Take read 0 as an example. Each drive has part of the files, and a scanning single disk will only find partial and corrupted data. So the precondition of the recovery is to combine the disk to the same read status as before. You can contact the local data recovery center to rebuild the RAID to the previous status, which is always with an expensive cost. However, you do have another much more affordable option now. Recently, we launched our ESA's manual recovery service to remotely rebuild the corrupted RAID. Copy the files to another disk so that you can access them again. One dedicated agent will be assigned to you and take care of this. All you need to do is to connect all the disks to a Windows computer, prepare another disk with sufficient space, and wait for the magic to happen. If the RAID unfortunately crafts and the data is not accessible, maybe you can give ESA's manual recovery service a shot, and I believe you will be impressed. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe us to get more practical information about data recovery and backup solutions. This is Fiona and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.